At least 1,200 clearing and forwarding companies will tonight enjoy some sense of relief after the Kenya Revenue Authority backed down on its hard stance of barring logistic companies from conducting operations without a valid license. In a late evening news conference, KRA Commissioner General John Giraini announced that agents will be permitted to continue with operations up until the agency clears the vetting process before renewing licenses for the 2017 period. Here's the latest on that developing story. A day after union members from the Kenya International Freight Forwarders and Warehouse Association started piling pressure on the Kenya Revenue Authority to fast-track issuance of licenses, the taxman has beaten a hasty retreat. No one, and no one's license has been revoked. According to KRA, all 2016 licenses were still valid for use by the agents up until the vetting process was completed. According to KRA, prior claims of being denied licenses made by Kifwa were baseless and the vetting process of agents was still underway. The truth is that they are still operating. There could be people who fear that this process may expose things that may be difficult to explain. In a statement, the tax authorities note that Custom and Border Control Department has, with effect from January 2017, enhanced due diligence processes in assessing suitability of applicants with a view to assuring their conformity with procedural, legal, and constitutional requirements. Yes. Kifua had raised concerns that the delayed renewal of licenses would be a major impediment to their operations as they continue to incur losses by virtue of operating outdated licenses which prevented them from securing tenders from would-be customers. KRA has so far maintained that the vetting exercise will continue and that the process will be conducted with utmost objectivity and due regard of fairness. The Revenue Authority is becoming both the judge and the jury. At least 94% of current license holders have submitted the information required to facilitate the evaluation process. Abiyagina, KTN Business.